आई ऑल गुड आफ्टरनून सो टुडे आई हैव विद नो सर मयूर सर विल बी टेकिंग योर सेशन एंड ही इज जॉइनिंग इन जस्ट 2 मिनट्स ओके सो जस्ट वेट ओके okay uh, good afternoon everyone uh, this is mayur so uh, today's session is open session i guess right okay uh, before starting the session i would like to have some instructions for you so what we'll do is because so many people are joined here uh, what we'll do is uh, you guys just raise your hands okay and don't uh, unmute yourself uh, in between okay. unless uh, i'll ask the person to unmute uh, herself or himself mm -hmm. then only you should uh, unmute yourself and then uh, we'll take the questions one by one okay fine <coughs> i think still people are joining here i guess okay fine anyway uh, uh i think these instructions are clear right because it happens like a lot of people will speak at a time and it will make uh, chaos uh, so fine okay uh Uh, first one is uh, Muthu Kumar Velu Sabita. Please go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, Muthu Kumar. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Are you able to hear me? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Just Good afternoon, sir. Ah, yes, yes. Good afternoon. <coughs> yes, yes. Go ahead. Uh, You uh, have some doubt or something? Uh, yes, I have some doubts. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, for every week, uh, yeah, I'm able to hear you. For every week, uh, there are uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, I'm currently okay. working in Lucknow. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, from uh, from Monday to. are you talking or what happened yes yes muthu kumar uh, are you talking or not uh, i'm just not able to hear you i guess okay <clears throat> fine uh, meanwhile okay uh, pragya a pragya right pragya, uh, can you please ask your question sir is this for the qualified student or this one what is it is it this this session is for those applying for qualified or what is it oh may i am not able to hear you clearly for this those session who for qualified uh, those who have to okay for no 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 for 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 uh, both that uh, both the people like uh, those are in the qualifiers as well as those are uh, in the term three. So term, for them term, also. Term three. Term three in the sense like uh, this is the third uh, term for the statistics one, right? So those who are already qualified the exam and uh, they are in the in this uh, means like in this term they have selected the statistics one course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They are also here. So yeah, yeah it's, so it's this is for for this for foundation uh, foundation also right like so yes, uh, yes, yes, I, yes, I clearly yeah. you I clearly you like qualified so now yeah, yeah. Uh, no no it, it is a common 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 so, session so for those who are uh, doing who are attending term end in december this will be used to right 
Ah yes, yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, Abhishek, uh, you can ask your question. Abhishek, Abhishek Singh. Sir, I missed the first online session. Hello. Can I provide? Can you provide this? Hello. Ah uh, yes. Sir, I missed the last session. Can I, can you provide this one? Uh, you missed the last session. You are saying. So it is there actually. It, 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 it is there on the YouTube. Okay, sir. Uh, what? Yes, sir. So I also missed the last session. So is it available on the YouTube, yes. sir? Hmm. Abhishek, your voice is not clear. I guess I am not able. Uh, is anybody uh, able to hear him? Yes, not sir. Able? No, sir. Yeah, yeah. I think yes. No, There's sir. Problem. Okay. So he is asking okay, that fine, fine. Yeah. I can't attend the previous session. Can I? Uh, can I go ahead with this session? Yeah, I think I. Yeah, it's fine only. It's it's not like uh, it is uh, the attendance or something. It's not compulsory here. It's just a doubt clearing session, so we can do that. Okay. Sir, he means to Akshay, say that yeah, yeah, uh, he has skipped the previous session. Will he be able uh, to understand the concepts of this session? He is meaning to tell that, sir. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it is fine, right? Because it's it's not yes, like the, I'm I'm not going to give you the lessons or something. It's just kind of doubt clearing session. If anyone is having any doubts in the concepts or uh, in the questions, uh, we, we are going to solve here, right? Okay, fine. Okay, Akshay, Akshay, go ahead. Can Akshay, I ask the question? Yes, okay, I will. I'll, what I said is, I will take names. Uh, those who have raised their hands, I will just go one by one. Whatever I am seeing on my screen uh, right now, I will just go one by one. And then they, those who have cleared their doubts, they can uh, what uh, unraise their hands or like that. Okay, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, Akshay, can you speak now? Okay, maybe there's something. Okay, and yeah. hello, hello. So can you I'm hear? I'm not me? able to hear. Hello. Yeah, now now I'm I'm able to hear you. Yes, yes, yes. now I'm able to sir, hear you. Sir, yes. uh, I have a doubt from practice assignment one point two. Okay, one minute. I'll just sir, share, uh, share my screen here. Yes. Sir. Practice assignment, which one? One point. One point two, sir. One point two. One point two. Okay. Sir, in this we have okay. a questions of uh, users and apps. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, sir, there are two questions in uh, that <laughs> category. That mm. what kind of variable mm. is the rating given by each user to an app? And the next question is, what kind Correct. of variable is the overall rating of an app on the Play Store? So, sir, please uh, describe and tell how to solve these two questions. Maybe there are the three and fourth number questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, if you uh, are you able to see my screen? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So the third question is, what kind of a variable is the rating given by each user to an app? Yes. So, sir. see if you if you can share the tables here. So this one is the table, the uh, table one point two point eight. Here you can see rating given by user. So yes, you just see the ratings here. It's like four three two five four three five three like this, right? So I think it is rating between one to five. Uh, if you see the question uh, here, and yes, it, it reads like a user can rate an app by giving an integer rating from one to five. So it's clearly mentioned here the rating given by user is an integer rating, right? So yes, it, it can take only values one, two, three, four, or five, right? Because rating given by an user is a variable. What uh, values it can take? It can just take one, two, 
3 4 and 5 that means these are the discrete values discrete numerical that, uh, numerical right and yes, sir. Uh, so what that, is that the clearly, next right? question it is so, written overall rating yeah. of the map. yeah overall rating in the sense, okay maybe uh, i don't know this is a september term and that, that qualified term right? maybe that overall rating that means uh, this one rating of an app it's, it's yes, sir. But in my question, it is written overall rating. Ah, okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, so just just think about it. Rating mm -hmm. of an app. See, whatever it's there, overall rating of an app, right? That yes. means rating of an app. That means uh, what whatever the apps are having the ratings. So if you just see here, uh, rating of an app. This is a variable. What values it is taking? Three, four point two five, and three point five. How yes, it is sir. coming out? It's kind of uh, average of these, right? So here in this table, it's so. Uh, just do, don't confuse with the things what we are looking here is that means 3 4.2 find 3.5 what this number suggested is it can take any values between an interval like between 3 to 4 it can take any value right it yes, depends sir. on uh, average or like uh, it, is, it is depending on the average ratings given by the user right so average whenever you are having large number of users the average can take any value right yes sir. depending on the data and the users so then what can you think about that uh, uh, variable? It is a continuous because it is taking any value between an uh, uh, interval, like three to four, it can take 3.111, 3.112 like that. So right? uh, whenever we have to find the average, then the answer will be continuous. Yeah, it, it, it depends, right? Uh, but, but generally, if you see, if you are like large number of data, right? Yes. Variable is is uh, what what does you think about variable? Variable is kind of thing, right? Uh, which varies, right? So it, it can take any values. For example, so, so you have uh, to think my about question like is this. that if the average rating yeah. would be uh, normal integers or uh, or normal integers like three, four, and five, then it would yeah. be continuous or discrete. But it depends. Uh, so overall, your data is there, and if all, all the time it is taking the only three, four, five like that. Yes, if sir. it is not taking any values in between, if you, you have to analyze the data and if the data does not contain any value, then you have to think about, okay, that can be a discrete value, discrete uh, variable. So what values your variable is taking, it depends on that. So here, that rate, overall rating of an app, it is taking the uh, uh, values that like 3, 4.25 and 3.5. So from that, we, you, we can, okay, it can take any values, right? Yes, so sir. that means it is a continuous variable here. Okay, if if, if your you. data is suggesting that it is three, four, five like that yes, throughout sir. the data and it is not taking any values in between, then you can think of like, okay, that can be a discrete. discrete. Okay. Yes. So, so can we uh, generally say that uh, whenever there's a decimal point, it is uh, always continuous? No, 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 no. It's, it's, that is also a misconception. For example, last uh, class also I said about this, but yeah. So, uh, if you think about the money, right? Money, hard okay. money. So sometimes it is possible that it can take values four point five rupees. Like, uh, uh, how much money in my, is my, in my pocket right now? So it can have four rupees, or it can have four point five, or it can have uh, five point five, like right. So even though it is a digit five point five, but but okay. it is not. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because it is. It can cannot count take it. the. Uh, we can count it and uh, it cannot have these values 4.51 right 4.52 it, it is not going to take those values right so but uh, there are only two cat main categories right the state and continuous Continue. then uh, if we can't so uh, place it in either category then uh, like that is discrete i told you right the, the money oh. which we are counted so that is discrete oh, so four, even four if there's five, a... five, that is discrete so, so yeah. how come the rating in this case is continuous? Be because if you see, it is taking value here 3, then it is 4.25, then 3.5. It, it is possible if, uh, let's say, app 2, app 2 is having values here, it's now 4, 3, and 5, and hence it is coming out 4.25, right? Like 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 5 is 12 divided by 3 is uh, 4.25. But yes, this is very small amount of data, right? But uh, let's say we have... Uh, a different data for example app 2 is having rating as 3 uh, 3 3 and 5 so it is 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 5 is 11 11 by 3 how much it is it can take that value also right 
Yes, sir. If you see uh, proper to this table, so yeah, you can say that app one. How this rating come? The second one point three a table one point three a. This rating comes by uh, taking the average of these values, right? So if if the values because we know rating given by user, it it is integer and it can take values from one, two, three, four, five. And suppose you have some data where app two is taking values like uh, five, four, three, five right now. So instead of that, four, four, three, five. So if it is four, four, three, five, how much it is? Eight plus three, eleven plus one, five, sixteen. Sixteen by three. So what is sixteen by three? It's uh, five point three three something, right? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ah, so that means it is taking val that value also five point three three. That is a valued value, right? That is valued value. It can take that value, correct? So, so whenever we talk of uh, ranges, we can talk like we can say it's continuous, right? Uh, yeah. So the definition of uh, discrete and continuous is uh, so discrete is the, uh, the when the variable can uh, take values which are countable that we can count. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. And whenever there is measuring or uh, um, like whenever there is a measurement of something, for example, height. Uh, we can measure like one fifty centimeter, one fifty point one one. So whenever, how much uh, precise you unit you want? If you have very good uh, weighing machine, uh, then it can take values up to three decimal points correct, right? Or maybe four decimal point correct. So like, yes. Sir. Hence, weight we can measure in continuous uh, scale. So hence, it is a continuous variable. So whenever okay. this measurement is known, it's a continuous, and whenever uh, it's countable. It is uh, discrete. Okay, thank Fine. you, sir. Sir, average rating would be uh, discrete or continuous? So I told you in this case it's uh, continuous. Uh, sir, even though uh, even though if you take money also average can take like like ten rupees by three is equal three point three three three. Even money also can take any value, right? You said money is discrete. No, no. No, no. See, wh wh why you are going to so if you are taking average of the money, right? Average of something, then that is a separate sec second variable, right? So in 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 this case, if you see rating given by user, this is one variable, right? And when you take the averages of that and whatever variable is coming out, it's rating of app. This is the different variable. So these two are different variables. So it means that result result of counting is discrete and result of measuring in continuous. Right? How much money I have in the uh, account? So so it is a discrete. But if you if I wanted to say how much uh, so average of money. So when I'm saying average of that, then it is a continuous variable. So that is a different variable, right? So just money uh, is different variable and uh, average of that money is a different variable. But to clarify, right uh, here, rating given by user. Let's say uh, in the in in the like like four point five, three point five, two point five. So is that discrete or uh, continuous? Continuous, continuous. I I just explained to you, right? No, no, not average, but the yeah. first table. The first table. If you say four point five, three point five, two point five. So in that case also, it is uh, uh, continuous. Sir, uh, but we can't take. So in the first table, it is clearly mentioned right here. A user can rate an app by giving an integer rating. So yeah, if, if you are not measuring, not this. I am just assuming. Like, what if you ah, then, yeah, 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 yeah. Then then it will be continuous, right? So it depends on your data, whatever right. data you are having and how you are describing in the data. Okay. So uh, what the whoever person has uh, collected this data, he has clearly mentioned that uh, the rating given by user it should be from one to five. But if uh, you are collecting some data and you can ask the your customers if you have some shop or something or. Restaurant, or if you are asking your customers, okay, you can give a rating between one to five. Then maybe one customer will give one, other will give one point one or something like that, right? In that case, it uh, it can be considered as continuous. Okay. Sir, I have a doubt. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sir, so can you move to the question uh, activity question four? Activity questions one point four. One minute. No, no, no. If if this kind of I you don't have the doubt here, right? I will just ask one by one. I told you, no. So we'll go uh, that strategy, right? I don't want to take anything. So I think Abhishek has clear his doubt. He can uh, uh, remove his hand. Uh, Ananya, yeah, Ananya, go ahead. Uh, sir, Ananya? I wanted to know. Yeah. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm able to hear you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for descriptive data, descriptive statistics, it is said that it can be performed either on sample or population. I wanted mm -hmm. to know what about inferential statistics? Can it be performed only on sample or both uh, sample and population? No, no, no. Uh, so, yeah, okay, I will tell you. Uh, can you just give me a minute? I will just uh, explain to you by using writing. Maybe. Yes. Uh, actually, population, uh, right? Population standard deviation. Population, sorry, not standard deviation. Population, uh, so, so, sorry. Inferential statistics only can be performed on uh, sample. Some. Because hmm. you are inferring uh, something about the population, right? You, hmm. When you're uh, doing that inferential statistics, when you don't have the whole data, entire population data, correct? Yes. yes. Then, then only you are performing an inferential <laughs> statistics to inference about or to predict about something from the smaller amount of data. So yes. when inferential mm -hmm. statistics only can be performed on the uh, yes. sample population uh, sample and mm -hmm. we are inferring about okay. the population. And uh, this, uh, descriptive statistics, Padmalata, who is this? Uh, so I think you can mute all. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I did that. Okay. Thank you, sir. So yeah, yeah. So what I was saying is, yeah, descriptive statistics it can be mm. performed on sample or it can be yes. performed on, uh, uh, where? Population. Population. Just. I, I, am not whoever I'm not asking the questions right. They just mute themselves. Don't unmute yourself. Okay. Okay, uh, sir, yeah. in the so same question, what I was saying is, one minute, I, I, I finish this and then I'll come. Okay, the sir. same question, if you have, you can just unmute this. Fine. So, yeah, uh, so descriptive statistics means what? For example, you are taking the average of the something, like for example, I have the data of students in a class. Let's say I have 50 students in a class, right? Yes, and if I'm asking, uh, and uh, what I have collected is, for those students, I have some marks in some subject. For example, mm -hmm. I have marks in physics. So, uh, if I'm if I am the uh, questionnaire and I'm, if I wanted to ask you is that, uh, what is the maximum marks uh, uh, maximum marks scored by a student in a physics class, right? Mm -hmm. So, in that fifty, if you are saying that this is this is the maximum mark performed by some person. Or if mm -hmm. I'm asking, what is the average marks uh, of a student in a class? So mm -hmm. that is a descriptive statistics, right? Okay. And if, if I wanted to ask about, uh, like, like, like I have a data of whole population, for example. So these 50 students in 10th class uh, is there. This is a sample, right? Mm -hmm. And in a, let's say in a district, how many 10th uh, class students are there? And I have the data of whole 10 class students in the district. So that is my population. Yes, in that sir. case, yeah. if I am ask, I can ask the same question. What is the average mark scored by a student in 10th class in a district? So when am I, when I'm asking that question, that is also descriptive statistics. So mm. uh, descriptive statistics can be performed on sample as well as on population. When we have the both the data present, right? Mm. And okay. inferential statistics is, we don't have that population data and hence we are performing some uh, techniques on sample to infer about the population. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Uh, so, uh, sorry, you're confusing actually. So if a descriptive, yeah. how can we per, uh, how can we apply and sample? It may be wrong, right? Like out of 50 students, yeah. if you if you take 10 students and if you decide remaining uh, 40 students, it, it definitely will go wrong, right? Because in descriptive, uh, I mean... Can, no, descri descriptive means what? Whatever data you have. For example, I have. Uh, okay, we see, cannot conclude. That's what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah, we are not concluding it any, okay. uh, anything uh, about it, right? Correct. Because whatever you think about whatever data I am having, I'm just talking about that data. Okay, okay. ten students are there. I wanted the average of ten students. That's it. Okay. So it's uh, okay. descriptive and sample means just on sample only. We are just descriptive. We're not concluding. Yeah, concluded. yeah, yeah. Oh. We are describing the uh, data of the sample, data. whatever Got present. Okay. okay, sir. Got it. Thanks. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. This is Harkishan. Uh, I have a doubt regarding the same question. So uh, huh? you have given the example of the class. So let's let's take the class. So uh, hmm. suppose we want to predict the marks of students. In suppose uh, total marks of students uh, in uh, suppose a subject. 
so suppose we mm-hmm. collect all the previous data of that uh, uh, class regarding the same subject mm-hmm. so that will be our population mm-hmm. so we can okay. uh, do some uh, analysis on that population and uh, we can mm-hmm. infer about the future so uh, that is the uh, infer- inference statistics done on the population right oh no 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 so in that case okay i will tell you so in that case what is happening here this is not a population right because you have taken the data from previous batch for example huh? i am having uh, the, actually i'm say, i'm yeah. saying about taking the data of everything that exists till now till the point ah, yeah, in yeah, time correct 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 there that is okay uh, but you are in, you are uh, making an inference or prediction on the uh, upcoming batch student right yeah or upcoming uh, students, yeah, yeah upcoming right? exam or so batch anything that, you can say correct correct so that means that that is a extra data right you don't have uh, a... that is extra data means that data doesn't exist now but uh, correct, correct. it will exist in some point in future but yeah, uh, yeah, that, that is that doesn't exist now so that's not the pop, that's not part of the population uh no 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 see, see. what is happening here okay what is happening here yeah i i, I understand what you are saying so you are saying that whatever data existed right now that is my population for current thing and what yeah, yeah, that is yeah that is that is the definition yeah. of population right yeah, what, but if you take everything that exists hmm, right right so this is the data okay whatever you have data it is there fine but you are inferring uh, inferring something about what will happen in the future for example if i wanted to uh, know what marks a students uh, will score in next semester correct oh yeah that can be but but for that you should know that uh, uh, but but that data will again exist right after some time after some one certain point of time the data will exist right yeah if it is not existing after some point of time it is not existing then there is no uh, point in making that inference or correct uh, i didn't get you sir for example let's say uh, for example uh, i have like uh, we'll take some s- s- small population for example i have 50 students class in a statistics fine okay okay now i have uh, entire data about the uh, uh, let's say 2020 batch is there and in the 2020 batch i have data about 50 students uh, and how much marks they have scored in the statistics subjects right okay huh? now i wanted to know that the next 50 students in 2021 batch how they will perform yeah but after some point of time some exam will happen right and yes. we will get that data also right yeah what exactly what they are doing going to do in the exam the next 50 students right yeah yeah so, they, so that you, means that is something that we are inferring we added, yeah. added into the previous data right Yes, yes, that will be at uh, that point of time in f- future. That will be uh, that will be included in our yes. population. So uh, yes. yeah. So 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 current data, whatever you are having, you can uh, think it as a sample. Don't make it as a uh, say it as a population because you are predicting about something, but that data will be there after certain point of time, right? That's okay. why you are uh, doing the prediction. If you are if that data won't be present in the future, then there is no point in making prediction about it, right? Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, so if ah uh, the data doesn't exist now, but if it will be existing in future, yes, then it will be considered that ah uh, that data will be that considered as sample. Right? Okay. For yeah. current time, the, the, it will be considered as sample. For oh, sample, correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okay. Fine. Sir, so can okay. we go to activity questions one point four? I have a doubt there. Ah, uh, okay. We will go, but yeah, I suggest if you just will go. Okay. Shubo Shubham is there, ah. Huh? Who was asking this question? Yes, sure. Sir, I have a doubt from one point four. No, no, that's okay. Activity question. Activity question. Right? Activity question. You did not yes, raise sir. what I told you at the beginning of the session. I will take this uh, questions one by one. Who has raised this hand? See, so the, if the talk is running, then it will be very difficult to conduct the session. It's a huge crowd here. So actually, I am unable to raise my hand as I am logging from the desktop. Yeah, yeah, but desktop, to... desktop also have that feature, right? So I am not my... getting that. Huh? Yeah, I'm not getting a raise hand option. Okay, okay, fine. It's fine. under okay. reactions. Uh, reaction. I will, I will take. Yeah, go to the reaction. Okay, okay, sir. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Got it, right? Okay. Yes. Fine. Thanks.
So yeah, now show show me there. Yes. Yes, sir. Activity questions one point four. Uh, question number three oh, and same four. Same question, Sushant. I think that is the same question he's asking. I guess. <laughs> which which question, sir? Activity one point four. One point four. Three and four. So same question it is there, ah? Huh? So I have a doubt in question four. Okay, so okay here, ah, uh, so both of you will be. Uh, I think it will get. Oh, oh, just can you just? I will come just now. So that uh, video game question. How is it, sir? Uh, an inter. How is it, sir? An ordinal scale. It must be an interval scale, right? Uh, one minute. Uh, actually, I uh, just just give me a minute. I I'll just connect with you. Okay. okay. Fine. Uh, what 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 were you saying? Uh, question number three. That video game question. Uh, students playing video games. Ah, correct. correct so yeah, okay. that must be that must be an interval scale because it has an interval like thirty to forty five, forty five mm. to sixty. But how? But in the answer, it is given that it is an ordinal, ordinal scale. scale. Correct. Correct. How is it that possible? Okay, I will tell you why. Why it is like that? So, uh, the in 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 case of interval, right? In case of interval scales, uh, the interval yes. should be constant, actually. So here in this case, the gap between thirty to forty-five is fifteen, right? The difference between yes. that uh, class, right? It is for fifteen. Then forty-five yes. is fifteen. Forty-five to sixty. But what is? Ah, huh? ah, forty-five to sixty is fifteen, right? So the the, the yes. gap is same here. But when you are saying less than thirty, that means it 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 uh, you can consider it zero to thirty, right? And what is what yes. what sense about more than sixty? More than sixty means it it can't take any value, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So so these intervals are not uh, constant, right? So the third, the whenever it is, uh, if it was like fifteen to thirty, the first interval, the second is thirteen. Sorry, ah uh, yeah, fifteen to thirty, then thirty to forty-five, then forty-five to sixty, then sixty to seventy-five. If it is in that format, then you can consider it, it as a interval scale. But now that less than thirty. That means it is it can take any value between zero to thirty. So that that interval is not constant. And more than sixty, it means anything, right? Again, it is a huge interval. So okay, so means, like the temp like uh, like a temperature scale, uh, temperature scale is graduated in equal intervals. Yes, yes. So it is so it is an interval scale. Yeah. So oh, but yeah, but here there is no equal interval. Yeah, because uh, it is, whenever it is the words like less than thirty or more than sixty, it does not. Uh, That doesn't mean anything definite. Ha, uh, but but there is an order, right? There is an order in this, right? Okay. So uh, means, yes, sir. They can be scale. ordered. Yes. Yeah. So okay. it is ordinal scale. Fine. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. And the and the next question, sir. Uh, question number four. So yeah, it is yeah, it I, is I, the I, reverse of yeah, the question. Yeah. It is actually think, saying that it yeah, is ordinal scale. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. This question, this question is like lot of people as having the doubt. Uh, why it is? Uh, I think I don't know what is the answer given here. Okay. So please, can you make the text a little bigger? The font size of the text. Okay. Maybe I will do this. Is it fine? You can zoom it. Zoom it. Yeah. This is it fine? No. Yes, sir. That is, I think. Ah, that Thank is, you, sir. Fine, right? Okay. Uh, Catherine has recently read the book. Uh, okay, so the answer is interval scale. And what what is your question is why it is interval scale? Uh, yes. Because so the, the thing is what we have uh, did here is uh, we make an assumption that the gap between one and two rating is same as that the gap between three rating. Likewise. So But uh, this that, should be ordinal scale, you know. Uh, I mean, good, bad, and worse, yeah, yeah. and better. Yeah. Whenever I'm saying in the terms, right, good, bad, or something, then it will be an ordinal scale. But here I'm asking them to uh, rate the book on the basis of one on the scale of one to five, and the gap uh, is like one, two, three, four, five. And what I'm assuming is uh, the, this gap between one and two is same as that of two and three. 
when i'm whenever i'm doing the rating in terms of good bad and poor right uh, yes. sorry or good bad uh, good average and bad in that uh, case why we are not saying that interval because one thing is there is no numbers and the other thing is the gap between this uh, good and bad right <laughs> So average and bad is not same as that of good and bad, uh, good and average, because we can't. We, It we cannot can't be measured. Uh, we we can't be sure about that. But in this case, in this question four, uh, the one assumptions we made is uh, the the rating between one and two is same as that of two and three. Okay, so uh, in the lecture they said that you can actually code uh, the good, bad, and that sort of. Uh, sentimental yeah. rating systems actually yeah. so when yeah, it is yeah. uh, when it is actually given in the question in the form of a code so yeah. we can uh, so we should assume that as an interval scale yes. yes because what uh, actually th that should be mentioned that the assumption should be the the difference between the ratings right 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 that should be similar only in that case it is an interval if that is not similar for example the rating uh, the 1 and 2 difference is not same as that of 2 and 3 right then that uh, in that case it is a ordinal scale but yeah here you can think of it as a interval scale right? so in in a, suppose a certain google play system where there is a rating system mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. 0 to 5 so that will be also an interval scale right yes yes okay so uh, maybe uh, if you wanted to learn about like, like uh, this rating it's not uh, you know it's uh, kind of uh, very Uh, difficult to uh, say that it's kind of interval scale or the ordinal scale. Maybe you can go for go for like you can check on the Google like uh, regarding Likert scale or something if you wanted to learn about the ratings. Actually, it's a kind of very complicated. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. I checked on Google, but it said yeah. that uh, it can it can be both sometimes. Yeah, it can be both. Yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. It depends on the data. so whenever there is a data okay. regarding this kind of uh, uh, ratings right uh, the sir i think rating that rating rating can't be, be done mentioned. rating can not be done from 0 to 5 like it should be started started from 1 yes uh, if, if in the case of numerical value yeah. it is not having a zero kind of rating yeah but Uh, but uh, yeah it depends man like uh, how you are you wanted to collect the data and how the so it, is... it actually depends on the data totally yes, depends yes. on the data uh, generally okay. any scale of measurement right it depends on the data you should not be make pre assumptions about uh, any variable so for example okay sir is, thank you this variable right, in the question number 3 it's amount of time if i don't give this information to you less than 30 or something If if I wanted to say the amount of time, then you can uh, you maybe can say that that is a ratio scale of measurement, right? Because time starts from zero. Yes, yes. Right. Yes. But now I have given this information. Now this data has become different, and the same variable, the amount of time. Now it is has it is having ordinal scale of measurement, not even the interval scale or uh, ratio scale, right? Yes. So uh, you should not make pre assumptions about any variable by looking at the names. You have to go to uh, through the data. and you have to check okay which thing is uh, logical or relevant to this uh, variable then only you have to decide about the scales of measurement fine yes sir yes thank you uh, so for the book rating question hmm? sir uh, how do we know when to choose one single scale and when to uh, like include another scale in the answer Okay. Uh, yes, there was an option for interval and ordinal yeah, and interval and ratio. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct, correct. So yeah, okay, uh, okay. Th that was actually the activity question, so we did not change that answers. Okay, we we uh, keep at, uh, it as a ambiguity or something. But uh, whenever there is an exam or something, we don't make this kind of uh, ambiguity uh, ambiguous questions. Okay, so okay, for for now, okay, I I know there are th that can. Be, So, if you say interval scale, I think that is also correct, and ordinal scale is also correct. Fine. Oh. Okay. And generally, interval scale is having that property of ordinal scale. Yes, yeah, so that's why I was very confused for this question. Yeah, no, yeah, but but uh, from the exam point of view, right? Uh, the, the, there is no there, there won't be any confusion, so don't worry about this. And okay. regarding this, this rating is kind of it's it's ambiguous. If you uh, see some. Uh, or you can check on the googles or some books if you can refer some books 
uh, you will see that rating is not nobody is like very firm about ratings so yes sir yes sir measurements is, for rating it's kind of very arguable thing <laughs> yes, don't want to do it. okay thank you sir sir, yes. sir as in this case i think that the ratings must take place in interval scale because yeah, generally generally yes generally sir because uh, it is a numeric value so yeah, but but make a but mostly no, no but but if you say like lot of uh, online uh, apps are there right mostly if you see there are having this kind of ratings also good bad poor yes sir. if if the if so that is ordinal apps, definitely yeah that will be ordinal mm -hmm. okay i think yeah enough discussion about this rating <laughs> uh now here i am seeing saima shroff yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. okay sir had a question ha ah, okay so me ji sir had a question who who is speaking right now i am saima can you hear me Hello. You are saying that if you do multiplication and division, you are saying something, right? Yes. So, what what do you wanted to multiply and like which which value you wanted to multiply and divide? No, I'm sir. So, okay. I'm saying like uh, if I, if I get the ratings, uh, can't it no. also be ratio scale because I can find the average rating, right? see uh, no so so hmm? that that i have told you earlier also if you do some operations on something right on some variable that yes. itself a new variable after okay. doing the operations on something that will be a new variable and it can be having the different uh, scales of okay. measurement for example uh, you have the temperature in degrees celsius right, right. and if you yeah. do subtraction operation on that and whatever the difference is there that is having that uh, ratio scale of measurement okay Ah, so so once I do the variable. operations, it will become a different variable, and then that can be that, ratio scale. Yeah, that can be. That can. Oh, be. that can okay, have any. Uh, yeah, that can have any kind of scale of measurement. Depends oh. on your uh, analysis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sir, 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 okay. Sir, for conclusion, if rating is zero to five, then what? What is it? just um, to clarify? If if you start with zero, is it ratio? But generally, if you see the ratings, would be from zero to five, right? If we wanted to rate something, what what does that mean? Zero. Zero means maybe that won't like any change. Like no rating, huh? No rating. Don't it like or anything kind option, of. Right? No, if you start with zero, can we say it is ratio just to clarify? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure, like. See that zero is not. It should have that absolute zero thing, right? So in so, case so, okay. uh, temperature in degrees Celsius, right? It is having that zero also. Right? Okay, so can you tell me example other than temperature? Uh, always temperature is taking. I just want okay. uh, any other. Okay, fine. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, okay. You, if you wanted to take the interval scale of uh, measurement, if you wanted to see, so or or uh, for that case uh, ratio scale right ratio scale of, which which you example you want that first of all i so in marks marks is ratio scale marks also starts with zero yes right? marks marks is a ratio scale of measurement okay okay, okay. then uh, your height weight so weight weight of something right so let's say weight of a sugar so 0 kg of sugar means what there is no quantity of sugar present right yes so what is that absolute zero means the quantity is not present there and uh, and one more property of ratio scale is you you can have that meaningful multiplication or division for example i am having 10 kg of sugar and uh, let's say you have 5 kg of sugar so what i can say is uh, you have uh, or or i have twice the sugar as that of yours right yes that means what what does twice means if you multiply 5 5 kg of sugar into 2 
that becomes equals to 10 kg and it is a meaningful thing right but in case of interval scale of measurement uh, if you do the multiplication or uh, division that does not make any sense because the interval between uh, that thing it is uh, not an interval i can say yeah but uh, but yeah it is not uh, twice or thrice uh, in that sense uh, exact same thing would be there for uh, between the uh, those and hence it is it is not having the absolute zero thing fine and in terms of mostly we yeah, yeah. so there is a black spot on the screen which i so which i can't see any question yeah fine fine uh, whenever you will be having question i can just that black spot is uh, of this participants i i'm seeing uh, sir if zero if zero presents we can't perform any uh, division or multiplication right uh, no no whenever there is zero in the data okay uh, whenever there is zero for example uh, i i told you weight of sugar right yes so weight of sugar it is having uh, zero kg right there yes but what what okay, you wanted to say like you wanted to divide it by zero huh? you uh, can't do that yeah that's why we are eliminating absolute zero in the interval that, that i'm just checking uh, okay no 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 Mul no no multiplication and division means uh, let's say 5 divided 10 divided by 5 it's 2 2 kg right yeah but it is having absolute zero thing absolute yes. zero thing means uh, zero kg sir may i have a question sir uh, what is the measurement scale for the marks scored by the student okay your voice is breaking hello ah yeah 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 Hello, sir. Hello. Don't make chaos. Okay, I told I told you before it, sir. If you do this kind of thing, then it will be very difficult for me. So, yeah. Uh, now it's Abhi Abhi Naya Kirutiga. Yeah, someone like that. Abhi Naya. Kirupati. Sir. Ah uh, yes. Ah. Uh. Am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Yeah. Sir, can you see just the difference between interval and scale? Interval scale and ratio scale, sir. So, what do you understand until now what, about interval scale and ratio scale? Uh, if if the difference between two numbers, whatever may be the case, uh, if the difference is same in every uh, sequence, it is interval and ratio is collapsing for me, sir. Ratio is. Collapsing for me, sir. Uh, I don't get a proper definition for ratio. Okay. Interval don't have zero. How uh, we can differentiate between the interval and the ratios? Yes, okay. sir. Okay. That's all. Okay. Uh, so if you remember from the lecture, ma'am has a pyramid, right? Pyramid kind of thing. So uh, she says that uh, interval scale is having the properties of nominal as well as ordinal, right? And uh, one more thing is. in interval scale of measurement you can do or you can perform a uh, meaningful subtraction and addition right but you can't do multiplication and division there meaningful multiplication and division ah uh, yes sir uh. and and in case of ratio scale of measurement you can perform the meaningful multiplication division operations as well as uh, multiplication and addition right uh, sorry um, yeah sorry subtraction and addition so the ratio scale of measurement is having uh, meaningful all the operations right it is possible all meaningful operations are possible in case of interval scale of measurement uh, only right. addition and subtraction is possible the ratio scale has all the properties of interval scale yes yes, yes. So, so that pyramid if you remember what ma'am has taught in lecture yes, yes. so yes. ordinal scale is having the properties of nominal interval scale is having the properties of ordinal and nominal And ratio scale is having uh -huh. the all of the three, uh -huh. and along with that, it is it can have meaningful uh, multiplication and division operations, right? And it is having that absolute zero thing. Absolute zero means. Sir, I have a query. Yeah, one minute. No. We'll go one by one. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, uh, yeah. sir, I have, sir, I have a query that uh, for calculating average, it is a 
descriptive statistics. But for calculating average from a sample for a population, is it a descriptive study or inferential? Uh, I think it is inferential because we are calculating from sample for a population. Correct. Yes. Right. Okay, thank you. So my question is not at all. Can I ask one more? Huh? May I ask one more question? Yeah, yeah you can ask it. Yeah. So how do you find case and variable in a in a in a case uh, or like yes. um yes yeah, so how do you differentiate case and variable? Distributions will be defined. Okay. Fine, I'll tell you. <coughs> Sorry. So if you can see here my screen, I'll just zoom it. Is it is it visible properly? No, sir, not properly. This question. No, sir. Uh, sure. Okay, one minute. Yes, sir. Okay, it, it will take that. I think it's little bit of time to. Uh, uh it, it's clear right now, right? It's fine, Aye, sir. Okay, so cases and variables. So what is the variable? Variable is uh, that varies, right? Uh, variable yes, means it, the uh, the values of it uh, varies, right? For example, if you see on the screen, this name name is a variable, right? Why? Because it is taking Rahul first, then it is taking Joseph, then it is taking Satya, then it is taking Krish, right? That means it is varying, right? Okay. Yes, Similarly, yes. age, age in years, uh, it takes value uh, 37, then it can take value 25, then it is taking 18. So that means it is varying. It is not same, right? When it is same, let, let's say if age in years for every person is like 37, 37, 37, then we cannot say it as a variable. But now, but now these values are varying, right? Like Rahul, okay. Joseph, Satya, like that. That is, uh, and hence, and for which it is varying, for name, right? For name, it is varying, right? <coughs> for first, but for this question, say, mm -hmm. for, mm. for this question is Sue material uh, nominal scale and price range is ordinal scale. What is the scale for purpose? I, I will come to that that scaling that different thing right now I'm talking about the observation uh, scales uh, sorry okay. variables and uh, cases right okay okay but please so so here, here, here is considered take, Ra that. only Rahul Rahul is the case right yeah okay yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I know. You, you understand I think but yeah I, I was talking to uh, so I, maybe she don't understand that thing, right I, I'm just explaining to so let me explain then you can ask me the questions there fine. fine? Okay, uh, sir, so sir, who was that? Uh, sir, there is, sir, there is a question in the activity that shows the bike model, bike model and the company name. So, mm -hmm. sir, models are the case, but the sir company name are not the case, sir. Why? Okay, just I, I'll I'll come to that. Okay, I, I will take all the things here. So yeah, so now uh, I wanted to know who asked me this question. Some girl was there. I don't Harsh know. Her name. No, no, no. You now asked right? before that girl asked to what difference between the like, difference between variable and case, right? Or you only asked me. Okay, leave it. So name, right? Name, uh, it is taking, it is changing the values, and hence this name, name is a variable, age is a variable, shoe material is a variable, and purpose is variable, right? The cases are those things for which we are recording different variables. So for cases. We are recording different variables. For example, and then this case should be unique. The cases should be unique, right? That you should uh, think in your mind. The cases, whatever are there, they should be unique. So in this table, Rahul, Joseph, Satya, Krish, Yamini, these are the cases. For example, Rahul is my case or observation for which I am recording the different variables. Now. Age is my variable, shoe material is my variable, purpose is my variable, and price range is my variable. Now, for Rahul, his age is 37. He uses uh, his shoe material as leather, and for his purpose is formal, and the price range is high. Fine. That means for Rahul, I'm recording these all the variables, right? 
and hence rahul is a case uh, and it is using uh, so can we consider the entire row as a observation as a case no no and entire row is not a case no 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 entire row is not a case only rahul is a case here uh, ma'am said that But, sir, it represents then... for example yeah i know i know ma'am said that column represents variable and uh, row represents Uh, cases or observations, right? Okay. Yes. yes. So, but but so name uh, while while you are saying the variable, while you are saying so, that name, the cases should not contain as duplicates. That's what you are saying. Yeah, yeah, cases cases should be unique. I told you, right? Cases should be unique. If you are listening to me properly, it's unique, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Rahul Joseph uh, Satya as a in the column row. in the column as a as a, no as in a row now it is written as in, as in a column i think so many of you are missing something you are whatever you explaining right it is not conveying something I, i don't understand if anybody understand please let me know so he is saying that when you are converting rahul joseph as a column and age to uh, show material purpose as a row okay but but how how it he is, is just saying to... like that we are taking the uh, topic and the row and the cases as column then it will be vice versa He is right. asking his question will be uh, whether the case will be changes as column but and have, the uh, variables okay, okay. will okay. become okay. as row. Have you seen such kind of data uh, like uh, tabulated somewhere? No. That that is the thing, right? You, you, if you wanted to make something, then it will be so. Uh, gen, these are the general representations. So these are the yeah, things we should follow, right? So, some 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 actually there are certain things that we should follow. if you don't want to follow that that is okay then in that case also then uh, what i can say is if that is the case then i'll say row represent in my data row represents the variables and column represents the uh, right. cases or something right so this is the thing. general now, representation then yeah yeah that is a general thing right and some what some certain rules are there that some kind of if you make certain rules ha huh? some kind of structure Hello? should be there right Yeah. See, anywhere if you go anywhere, there should be some uh, assumptions you should make, right? Like, okay, I wanted to represent my data, and we need to generalize the thing so that everybody should follow the same thing. Yes. But sir, like, uh, so, uh, so, but sir, can we like, say that the assumption that 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 should not be hard and fast rule, right? But but if you follow that thing, that will be better. It will be uh, easily understandable for everyone. राहुल जोसफ सत्या कृष्ण और and name age to material purpose uh, price range and suggestions are the variables that's right sir correct okay sir uh, is Hello? not a variable no no, no. no. suggestion my, is a, actually that is unstructured data no my my suggestion is serial data. number and name should not be taken as a variable because this company is doing the uh, market research only for analyzing their product in the market so no. uh, see, so see, the see, yeah so the uh, the the main part is show material and its purpose and its range and age group so whether it is rahul or joseph who it is it doesn't make any sense in this uh, so serial number 1 mean serial number and name should be taken as a variable age group serial number so, no, no 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 okay, okay. name okay. also name also not required as a variable because age is the factor in the market research show material is a uh, again it's a it's a uh, criteria for the uh, for the company purpose is a uh, again one more criteria price range is also criteria so that these four are the main uh, variable should be taken as a variable age the rahul whether it is rahul or whether it is somebody else doesn't make any sense right okay okay i understand what you are saying it is not about the making sense or something uh, it is about the conveying the information okay name and what what does what is the definition of variable variable is that thing which varies right you are you are getting my point yeah variable yeah i is, got it i got it but but so my 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 doubt is this company is doing a market research for their product right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Huh, in that case whether they are going to uh, make some shoes for this uh, this for those two uh, uh, states in that they are actually searching whether they want to produce a leather shoe or a rubber shoe or a synthetic or a plastic shoe which one should be given priority so if for that they are doing a market research and which are the age groups okay up to 37 or uh, 50, 18 range those people are using synthetic and 37 age group or 30 age group 30 above age group they are doing uh, leather okay and the purpose of this use 18 group is for running or that 
uh, the 37 age group is for formal, for going to office and so on, and the price range. Uh, the 37 group is actually their, their earning members, so they go for a high price. This is the uh, four criteria which you, the, they, are, they are actually looking okay. for. This is the market okay, I will. I will ask. Okay, I understand. I understand what you are saying. Uh, okay. Uh, so, to, okay, I will ask you one question about it. So, how we are going to collect this data without taking the names? Okay, I will remove that column. Okay, I will remove that uh, name column from there. Uh, what is this age? 37, 25, for, for whom it is belonging? Oh, that, see, my uh, what is the shoe material? No, no, my, no. My... What is the shoe material? Mm. I understand. For, for analytical purpose, ah. that is a different thing. So <laughs> whatever <laughs> you are saying right. is, for whatever you are saying is for that analytical purpose. That is the second yes. step, right? First step, what is your first step to collect the data? Without the without collecting the data or without collecting the information, how can you process that further? Right. And for collecting data and for whom you are collecting, that should be specific, right? What see if you remove that name, then there is no meaning to this age, right? 27, 35, 18, no, or later. No, if, 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 if there is no name and if I put A, B, C, D, then what will happen? There is no difference, no. But okay, then you put A, B, C, D. That is fine. But that no, should my, be. My, 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 uh, yeah, that's you, what. yeah, that's why. No, no, no. I told you for that matter, uh, many companies, what they do is they have patient IDs, uh, employee IDs or uh, for the sake uh, role numbers or something. Then in that case, you need not be uh, having that ro uh, name, oh. right? Yeah, I got it. Fine. I got it. But, but, but something should be there. Either name should be there or employee ID should be no, there. My, 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 there. my, my, uh, no, my answer is because no, these three four, four, four uh, columns are main important thing for this company to analyze their analyze their market. That's what I have, that was is. trying to convey. Yeah, for analysis analysis purpose, then it is not required. I guess that uh, it depends actually. But yeah, uh, then it is not required, right? But that is the yeah. second step. But for collecting the data, uh, so there should be something, right? Step wise, some uh, is there. That's why we have that week one. And I think she has taught in the first lecture itself. What is and how to collect the data? That is the first step, right? For doing the things, the analysis and everything, which which variable is required, which is not required, then that is the thing you are going to study in the. That is what about data science, right? Which things you wanted for your analysis purpose? That is about the data science. But that, uh, but before that, we need to collect the data. That is the requirement for that, and for that name or something, some some unique thing should be there for recording the data. Okay, uh, yeah, let's move uh, on. Sir, and somebody uh, excuse me, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Excuse me, sir. No, no, no. no. Sir, Don't make a bunch of questions. No, no, it's okay. But uh, so for the uh, same people, can I ask something? So no, no. Sir, one, one, minute. Uh, just... one minute. One minute. One minute. One minute. Don't make. So the suggestions is not a variable. That is unstructured data. Fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Sir, Before that, sir, then suggestion, sir, then suggestion uh, is not a variable. Then in which category it belongs to, sir? No, it is not having category. That's why it's unstructured data, right? First of all, we have structured data and then unstructured data, right? Then you have you have to do some processing on unstructured data, and then you have to make it the structured data and then you can categorize it into some uh, variables right so, so, no, uh, I think what, so data how do you process. how do you transform into uh, how do you transform unstructured into structured again okay fine so there are techniques actually available but okay for now uh, if let's say here in this table we have this quality should be better with better pricing the second is heel quality should be better well, a variety of colors and styles are required Heel height shouldn't be high. This kind of things are there, right? What I can do is I can make one another column here and uh, I will make it as a quality. Okay. Then I will put the quality should be better. I will put better. Then the quality should be okay. Not uh, like it should be good or something, right? Then I, I will make that things and I will make that to structure data or something like uh, uh, height, height of the hill. Heel height. Then I will collect the data for uh, heel height, right? Most of the data is in the form like, okay, uh, Rahul, uh, whose age is 37 years, who wears leather shoe uh, for the formal purpose, having the high price range. 
that kind of data is available to you then you have to make it to some columns you have to extract the data and you are going to make the structure but yeah but there are a lot of things are available uh, in uh, how to make a structured data or structure but for now it is out of the scope of this course so you, you if you go ahead right with this course you'll get to know how to do that fine okay so not going to yeah yes. so okay, one sir may i create a categorical column sir, for uh, suggestions the yeah, purend purendu shukla yeah yeah can we create categorical column for suggestion for better pricing like high value and low better pricing so it will be one and then two because we can import categorical variable as num numeric as ma'am told hmm hmm ah uh, that's what i'm saying you can do that thing but it, it is after the processing right processing on the data oh. before processing it is unstructured data there is no category okay fine okay. Uh, i think now it's ayush <laughs> Ayush sir, sure? when data oh, is excuse realized. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, Ayush. Ayush, Ayush, are you there? Hello. Okay. Sir. Sir, may I please? Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, okay, Rushikesh. Rushikesh, okay, go, go on, Rushikesh. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sir. Okay. Riya, Riya, I, sir, I will come to you after this. Have. After Rushikesh, I will come to you, Riya. Ah, huh? yes, yes, Rushikesh. Uh, okay. Sir, can you explain what is that attitude data? in the activity to do can you specifically tell me which, which questions you want to see so he asked what data is latitude latitude for which kind of variable it is okay so as in discrete or continuous i think okay 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 latitude um, Okay, latitude is. Uh, so, sir, please explain meaning of latitude data because that did it told in video. Actually, latitude is not a discrete variable or a continuous variable. I think it's not a numerical variable. It is a categorical variable, right? Sir, latitude so, is a numerical variable. Yes, sir. No, so, latitude. Latitude is, is a numerical the... variable, and it is okay. continuous as it can it be. It will measured. be continuous because it can take any values. No, no, one minute. Okay. Latitude. How we are going to measure? Uh, can you just tell me? Uh, So latitude, latitude as in the geography term, right? Hmm. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> yeah. So, so you know, can so be measured. Latitude is the name of it. Latitude as in geography, it can be measured in degrees. Yeah, degrees. Uh, okay. Yeah, degrees. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. From that zero degree to ninety degree, in that sense, you wanted to say, right? Zero degree yeah, to ninety. Yeah. So from, as uh, as in geography, as in geography, okay. we can measure it in degrees. Actually, so it is numerical value. Uh, Okay, fine. Okay, then then zero uh, to ninety, right? Then it is a uh, numerical value, definitely, or continuous numerical value. Yeah. It can take any. In a st statistical right? view, uh, what is attitude means? Sir? What? In stati yeah. statistical perspective, what means latitude? No, the, that's what I'm saying. If it is measured in degrees, right? Zero uh, degree, one uh, uh, one degree or something, then it, yeah, that it is a continuous numerical value. Uh, sir, actually, there, so can you explain? Uh, okay. So can you explain so, me that? I don't think there is any explanation needed, right? See, for example, uh, zero degree is uh, I think equal, right? Zero degree is equator. Then if you go from zero degree to uh, towards the pole, it's ninety degree there, right? So zero, it, it can take any value, right? Zero point one degree also, zero point one one two degree or some something like that. So if you change that thing, then it uh, it can take actually any values. It can go to any place uh, over the earth, right? So that's why actually there is nothing to. Uh, so which explain, right? which kind of measurement of scale is latitude is? Yeah. Uh, okay. In that case, uh, okay. Uh, there is there is a uh, debate on this. Latitude will be interval, I suppose. Yeah. Why why latitude is interval? Latitude will be interval. Yeah, because no value is zero. It can take And negative no. values, right? It can take negative values. Uh, if you But go south it, from the equator, absolutely. it is having that negative values, right? No, sir. Land, if you go, no, no latitude oh, doesn't oh. have negative values. Oh uh, yes, it doesn't have. It doesn't have negative values. Then it comes oh, at the okay. region. So, if something can take negative values, or does it not have an absolute zero? Hmm. Then it is. Then it is an interval scale of measurement, right? If you have the negative values. 
Okay, okay. Oh, okay. See, I'm 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 getting confused with this longitude latitude. <laughs> what I understand is, if I'm saying zero degree, uh, what is this? This is a, a latitude or longitude? Just tell me. Okay, I'll just Google it. Sir, uh, so the north it is named as zero degree, north it is named as latitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. 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 Okay,
for discrete we do not need any infinite scale for continuous we need How any infinite scale money is continuous right no no discrete no no discrete we can count it without any measurement it is not about cc this is a misconception what you are saying that infinite or something it is not uh, related to this infinite or something. money can infinite right generally things are uh, 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 the, the the major difference between continuous and numerical is sorry continuous and discrete is in continuous it can take every value in the range for example milk right if you are going to uh, measure the milk right so in liters for example so it can take any value between 3 to 4 liters. if you are measuring uh, is uh, like if you are uh, uh, measuring instrument is precise then it can take any value like for example 3.11 liters 3.13 liters 3.14 liters up to 4 liters but in case of discrete right it is not indicated. there are certain values for example in in case of money i am saying it can take uh, either 4 or 4.5 or 5 Apart from these three values, it is not going to take any value right between the interval. Or, or just in case number of people. If I wanted to say how many number of people are there between uh, 20 to 30, it will always be 20, 21, 22, 23. Right? But can continuous value take decimal values? Continuous are always be taking decimal values. Right? That is maximum part is always there, so it can take any values. That means this, that is fractional part is also there, so it can take any values between a set a lot of values. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying, right? This 3.22, okay. what, what is this? This is a decimal, right? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ah, yes. Excuse me, ah. sir. Can ah, good, Kritya. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, mm. Sir, uh, the problem which I'm facing is that uh, I don't know the meaning of uh, the term can you speak louder? Is can, can, you, can you speak louder? Uh, in uh, when ma'am was explaining interval scale, uh, uh -huh. I was having problem in understanding the statement that value of zero is arbitrary. Could you please explain that? Uh, no, can you just repeat? Uh, it's your voice is I think somewhat lower. Uh, to... The value of zero is arbitrary. Is what ma'am said uh, when she was uh -huh. explaining uh, interval. So, okay. could you please explain this okay, fine. statement? Uh, okay, okay. So, okay, somebody said that don't take the example of temperature. Okay, I'm, I'm going to take the example of uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, if you was, uh, you, you know that atmospheric pressure or something, right? That, that concept you know, right? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So, in that case, if you see, arbitrary means uh, you are making some, uh, that, that uh, somewhere you are arbitrarily making the choice that uh, this I am saying that zero. So what does that zero, uh, zero, uh, what do you say? Zero atmospheric pressure means what? Hmm. Is, is it, is it means like, uh, uh, does that mean that uh, it's, there is no pressure at all? Like it is uh, mainly what you're trying to say is that uh, that is the value which we ourselves have assigned. Yes. It. We, we said it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. Th th that that zero means it is not that uh, the 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 quantity is not present there. Correct. When you are uh, taking about the vacuum in terms of vacuum, if you are say if you know Am the concept, uh, just a minute. Hmm. So in that vacuum case, when you are saying zero vacuum, right? So zero pressure, like in in, in vacuum. So that means uh, it is perfectly zero. There is no uh, pressure present right but when i'm saying it is atmospheric pressure right? mm -hmm. barometric pressure what you're saying we set some value below that it is vacuum but does that uh, vacuum so like no in, when, man was, when man was taking the example of temperature so uh zero in temperature is something like it's arbitrary it, it doesn't mean anything yeah only we ourselves have have assigned uh, yeah, the value, some value, but in yeah. itself, it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, and so, so, uh, so another thing, yeah, for, for knowing uh, that thing, right, the temperature temperature example is a good example. So, whenever is this yes. zero degrees Celsius, 
सो दॅट झिरो डिग्री सेल्सिअस इज आर्बिटरी चॉईस बट झिरो डिग्री केल्विन इट इज नॉट आर्बिटरी दॅट इज ऍब्सोल्युट झिरो बिलो दॅट देर इज नथिंग राईट लाईक बट झिरो डिग्री इन केल्विन इन केल्विन इट मीन्स समथिंग लाईक इट हॅज अ मीनिंग असाइंड टू इट या इट इज एक्झॅक्टली झिरो इट इज इट इज नॉट देयर इज नथिंग राईट फ्यूजिंग so when i am saying that so if i say 20 degree kelvin and 40 degree kelvin it is exactly the two times the temperature but it's 20 right. degree celsius and 40 degree celsius right uh, it right. is not exactly the two times the temperature how i'll tell you this is a feeling actually so uh, the 20 degree celsius and 21 degree celsius right uh, hmm. okay uh, how okay, that that actually Uh, so actually here sorry scientific i will say so that minus 270 uh, 273 degrees celsius right? Uh, right from from actually these are the scales uh, how they have uh, formulated is it's not exact it is depending on minus 273 degrees celsius for that you have to understand that 0 degree kelvin means minus 273 because because uh, because it seems uh, it seems like whenever uh, Whenever okay. we, I was seeing the example like inside this twenty degrees Celsius, but when Mam said that forty degrees outside the temperature is forty, it seems that like a, a, like normal normally we would say that it's twice like the temperature yes. outside is twice but as it is not. inside. So no, actually, but, just, but how sir, here, how sir, like how, it's quite confusing. How how sir, you're uh, saying right? This is a purely scientific uh, thing. So, 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 so can we? I, can I, I need to start with the science, right? I don't want to do that here. Just so, just make sure that okay. actually. So not less than this. So not less than one minus one. That's what now. Current heat is uh, approximate, and Kelvin is uh, the exact one in yeah, meaning of temperature. Exactly. So can we? Zero zero degrees something, right? When you are starting with zero, right? Then the, these intervals hmm. zero, one, two, three. These intervals are actually. having the uh, same thing there like zero in one is the same as that between one and two but when in terms of degrees celsius yes. minus 273 degrees celsius and minus 272 the, the same gap is not there present between minus 272 and minus 271 okay so got, it, got, it, got it got it got it sir so uh, here there is yes. one small doubt sir uh, and i'm i'm still i'm still, 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 still having some doubts uh, sir so still having think, some doubts <laughs> टॉपिक that is that was quite confusing because let's say if you see the reference the course something that's the next part of scientific part let's say we are recording a place as uh, let's say 10 10 degrees of humidity is another place that we can say that yes the second place is twice hotter technically people might think why is that why is it so i think it, to say that uh, 15 30 degrees is not twice hotter than 15 it is not sinking in actually hmm. it could be like that right like We have a place which is twenty degrees, another place forty degrees. Obviously, forty degrees is twice hotter than as the place which is twenty degrees. That's my thing. So, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I will explain it to you. Like, uh, if you can say the difference between something, right? Like, let's say uh, we have three yeah. places. One is Shimla, one mm-hmm. is Mumbai, and one is Chennai. Let's say, huh? Shimla is having temperature of two degrees Celsius. Mumbai is having thirty, and uh, let's. No, no. Okay. Uh, what I guess is, okay. I I will take three cities. Okay. Don't say Mumbai, Chennai or something. But yeah, f- city one is having temperature of, let's say, two degrees Celsius. City two is having the temperature of, uh, let's say, fifteen degrees Celsius. So, and uh, city three is having the temperature of, um, let's say, twenty-eight degrees Celsius. Okay. Zero, fifteen, and twenty-eight degrees Celsius. Now I can say that the difference between the temperatures. 
of Shim, uh, the city one and city two, uh, or 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 city one and city three. The difference between temperature in city one and city three is twice as that of the difference in temperature between city one and city two. That is a valid thing. When I'm saying difference, right? So I'm making it to uh, absolute zero. I'm making the difference to absolute zero. For example, fifteen minus two is thirteen, right? And twenty-eight uh, minus two is twenty-six. So when I take the difference, that will be uh, because what what is that difference? Taking difference is making that scale to some zero zero scale, right? But individually, the zero fifty zero fifty uh, sorry two fifty and twenty-eight. They individually these are not uh, uh, exactly two times or something, because the scaling right scaling in uh, degree Celsius is not uh, the same. Whatever I am saying right, because there is no absolute zero and hence when you do the scaling between zero and one degree Celsius is not the same between one and two degree Celsius, since it is not from uh, it is it is not on the basis of zero degree Celsius. So that is actually that is the thing of scales actually. So how you are doing the scaling that it depends on the scaling. Right, the degree Celsius temperature. It its uh, minimum temperature is minus two to seventy three degree Celsius, and how you do the scaling is, you take something and you just divide it. If you know the how how they make the measurements, they they just make two arbitrary things. One making as zero. Some somewhere they will mark one thing, and some highest temperature they will mark something, and then they will divide uh, all all the things in between in some intervals. Right, and when in terms of in in the degree celsius uh, when they make that zero degree celsius arbitrary there and 100 degree celsius somewhere it's like boiling point is there right boiling point of water is considered it as 100 degree celsius and the freezing point it is considered that as a zero degree celsius but actually it is not right that zero degree celsius that means it is not actual uh, zero temperature there some temperature is present there and when they did uh, the when they cut that zero and 100 A degree Celsius into hundred parts. They made that zero one two three, but that is not actual thing. That is not the zero and so, gap is the same as yeah. Yes, sir. Just just wanted to. See, so for example, is, that we have taken. If you wanted to know about this, right? Ah. Huh? Yes, sir. Sorry, interrupt. Yeah. Like sir, talking about this zero degree. You know about you just go and how to, how they do the measurements, right? If you just mm. check that thing, you'll get to know why why I am saying this thing. It is not uh, easily describable things, right? And mm. not everybody will understand that thing. So okay, I'll leave that thing. Okay, that that is. I think uh, we have that enough discussion on that. I think mm. it's not that much of uh, importance here. So excuse Fine. me, sir. Uh, yeah, no, no. Now I'll I go to Ria. She is waiting for something. Okay, you sir. guys are already. In. Okay. Uh, sir, am I audible to you? Yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, actually, I have some technical problems. Uh, I haven't received my um, graded assignments yet. I have checked my portal, but that is not there. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Have you uh, mailed it to support team? Support at the rate online degree. Yes, sir. I, I mailed. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, how, I did. How How much time uh, before? Uh, sir, uh, I mailed. Uh, I think last night I sent a mail. Okay, then then they will see like uh, it will take oh. one one hour. So I think the assignments aren't graded yet, so you wouldn't be receiving them. I guess. You you wanted no no. She, I think she's saying that she did not receive the grade assignment there. So actually, uh, they are, they should be on the portal, but I've checked my portal. Um, there is nothing like that graded uh -huh. assignment or something like that. Okay okay no no they 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 will uh, uh, I will also contact with them. But uh, generally, after one or two days, they will answer to your query. Okay, that that will. Uh, Wednesday is the last date, so if. Uh... Yeah, it is Wednesday. Wednesday, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You will, you will get it before that. Okay. Okay, uh, sir. I will, I will oh. contact them. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, I will, I will, uh, I will send you here my, my mail ID. Just, just uh, send me over there right? in the chat. My mail ID. Okay, sir. I will. Okay, just a minute. Thank just you, sir. Uh, sir, one query is it? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, but but don't don't mail me too much, right? Uh, okay, sir. Ah, uh, sir. So yeah, it is there. Just send your request. I will just uh, forward it to you. 
Thanks. Oh, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah. Shabnam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, sir, I want to ask that uh, does email uh, discounts under structured data or unstructured one? Yes, structured data, right? Okay, what is the property of structured data? The structured data are those data which are easy to handle and easily searchable. Yes, sir. Right? So easily searchable means like if you just uh, find the email ID, you can just take, uh, extract all the information about that person, right? It is very easy to find out the email IDs of some person. Yes, but sir. the content in the email, right? It is not yes. structured data, it is unstructured data. Because it is, uh, if I wanted something from that email content, it is hard to search, right? It is very hard to search. So email addresses are structured, but email content, it is unstructured data. Okay. Thank so you. So may I ask something? Okay, who's this? So, Shreya. Shreya, yeah. Yeah, okay. Fine. So, uh, I had a doubt in scale of measurement. So, for phone number, or uh, do we compare, like, uh, if we take the single phone number, do we compare the digits inside the that phone number, or like we compare the whole phone number with the other phone numbers? What? It, what? It's static. Number? Like, so, uh, uh, do we compare the series of numbers in the same phone number in one single phone number or do you, do we compare the whole phone number with other phone numbers? No, no, single phone number, right? We are not comparing. Okay, you wanted to compare to see is it categorical or numerical you're saying? So, uh, this is classified under yeah, nominal. Yeah. Yes, nominal. So, yeah, other That's phone number only, right? So, other so uh, the reason is that... Um, like there's no order in the uh, phone numbers, right? Like right. Uh, we can't compare it in any way. Hmm. Correct, Is that correct. the reason why? Yes, yes. See, for so, example, let's say somebody is having phone number. Okay, I'm going for the four four digit phone number, for example. Let's yes, say sir. somebody is having the phone number as nine nine seven zero. Yes, sir. And somebody is having the phone number as nine nine seven one. Yeah. So, uh, is there any order like nine one nine nine seven one is greater than nine nine seven zero or what? Uh, no, right? We can't say that in this case because it is of no meaning, right? No, in, in any case, like ten digit number is there, ten digit phone number is there. Somebody. No, in this case, as in like for four numbers, like we can't say this, right? Yeah. Okay, we can't so compare, right? Hence, so it is not. We are comparing uh one phone number to another phone number, right? We are not comparing one phone number or uh, the digits inside the phone number. No, 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 not digit inside the phone number with the other phone number only, right? Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. Okay, Chirag, Chirag, Chirag is there. Uh, yes, yes, sir, I am here. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. My my questions are only two questions. Uh, first is that are marks in ratio scale of measurement? Yes. Marks at and zero, if, right? And if and if uh, marks have negative system, then will it be in interval scale? Okay, so that is a great assignment question, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. See, the, then I think yeah. See, what's what I am saying is it depends on data, right? The scales of measurements are depends on the data. It is not that yeah, hard so. and fast. Okay, hmm. you just you just go and uh, I think you get the answer, but still. What I'm saying is, whatever you're thinking, right? Yeah, then, yeah. Yeah, then then that should, you should follow that. It should not be hard and okay, fast through okay. that. It will always follow the same thing. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, understood. Yes. We, we can discuss uh, after the grade assignment submission. Okay, we can discuss okay. This kind of questions, really. Not freely now, but yeah, that I think yeah. that I gave you the answer itself. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ganesh, Ganesh VLS. And those who are uh, for, for whom I answered the queries, right? Just uh, uh, lower your hands, okay? So that uh, that will be fine. Yeah, Chir uh, I think Chirag is done. Chirag, you just lower your hand, right? Uh, Ganesh, Ganesh, Ganesh will is, is he here? Uh, sir, question number first question, sir, please. No, no where, where? Where first? Question? That Activity, uh... practice where? Yes, sir. That in order of forecast tomorrow temperature, please. This one? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll just zoom it. Okay. In order to forecast tomorrow's temperature in Mumbai, uh, the Indian Meteorological Department collects temperature. Okay, fine. 
Okay. Okay. What uh, What is your answer? For time the series because we are not storing data on a for uh, a fixed uh, interval of. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, other, for... Others, please don't speak. Uh, who asked me this question? All day from past three months. Uh, I think Ganesh Ganesh asked this question, right? Ganesh, uh, are you listening? Yeah, what, yes, sir, yes, sir. yeah, what what do you think like which which will be the answer here? Or you don't sir, the, the department collects the temperature, the humidity and rainfall, the de date of Mumbai that yeah. collected how to sir, please. The past oh, three yeah, months yeah. before. See. So okay. So that means uh okay, if you can uh, visualize in the table, right? So how they are just hey. taking the some some day will be there, okay? Let's say they are typing on the daily basis. Fine. Yes, sir. Now for three months, like 90 days, they are collecting the data, for example. Right. So my yeah. first column will be day. The second column will be temperature. The third column will be humidity and the fourth column will be rainfall. That is okay. You're, uh, yes, are you sir. able to visualize this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Fine. Thank you, sir. Now for 90 days, they are collecting this information for temperature. How much for first day? What is the temperature? Uh, what is the humidity and what is the rainfall? Then the for second day, what is the temperature, what is the humidity, and the what is rainfall? Right. Now, if you see for the Mumbai, so what is the uh, definition of time series data? Time series data is we are uh, taking or we are collecting the data at different times but at the same place. Correct. And what is the many? What is the definition of uh, cross-sectional data? Is for different places at the same time we are collecting the data. Right. Now, here what we are doing is for 90 days from the first day to 90, we are collecting this data for Mumbai. So, Mumbai is the place which is constant here. But what is varying here? It is The time is varying here. So, day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4 to day 90. Right. And hence it is a time series. Got it? Uh, sir? Uh, Ganesh? You, you got it? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, Sarvesh. Sarvesh. Next, Sarvesh. So, but uh, time series data uh, collects data about a particular variable over a period of time, right? But there are more than uh, no, one no, variable no. here. It's, it's not like that. Not a particular variable for a particular place. Uh, so okay. variable can be any, like large variables are there, right? It is not when you are collecting some data. It is not for one variable. It, it for large number of variables you are collecting the data actually. Generally, if you collect the data, how you are collecting? Huh? So you can't say for collecting the variable. So uh, my question is again, once again, coming back to how to distinguish between ordinal and ratio and interval scale. So, See, first of all, ordinal means ordinal is a which, which category? Okay. Uh, it's a Cate for categorical yeah. variable, for categorical variable, we have two scales of measurement. One is nominal and another one is ordinal. For numerical variable, we have two interval and uh, ratio. ratio. So if your variable is categorical, then there is this ordinal, right? Oh, uh, yes. But, uh, my question is very often for a categorical variable, we assign a certain number and then it gets complicated because it's labeling. Hmm. So that's where I'm getting the doubts from. No. Okay. 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 So what I'm saying is if you label the variable as numbers, then that is a different variable. First of all, don't get confused with these things, right? Okay. If you change something, right? The original variable, if you change something, if you label that variable or if you do some uh, multiplication or some division or something, then that the new variable will be a different variable. It is not the same variable. For example, in case of rating, if you're saying good, bad and poor, if I'm going to label it as one, two or three, so that one, two or three rating is different than uh, good, bad and poor. Okay. But it would still be categorical, right? Huh? Yeah, it, it is still be the categorical. That is okay. One, two, three. Because uh, that uh, if you can't add one or two, 
or you can subtract two and one. Then uh, or or there is no mean. See why we are saying the phone number or jersey number is a categorical variable, even though they are having numbers, because no meaningful mathematical operations we can perform on it, right? For example, jersey number. It is a number, right? Somebody is having jersey number five and somebody is having the jersey number of eighteen. But if you do the subtraction of operation there, so eighteen minus five is thirteen, right? But that thirteen does not see. We are able to do the uh, subtraction operation, but that thirteen, which is coming out as the output of this uh, subtraction, there is no meaning for it, right? Yes, right? sir. So whenever there is no meaning to the numerical values, then it is a categorical variable. Then you can yes. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, consider what, which variable it is. So you have to think about is it a, a categorical variable or a numerical? So if you think okay, this is a categorical variable. Then no categorical variable only have two scales of measurement. One is ordinal, one is nominal. So only two will be there. You should not be get confused with interval with the ordinal, right? Unless it is a numerical variable. So okay. before going to the scales of measurement, first decide is it a categorical variable or a numerical variable. Once you yes. decided it, it's a categorical or a numerical, then go for the scales of measurement. Fine. Yes, so and about class intervals. Uh... So suppose we put class one seventy to one seventy five centimeters as one in class interval, and one seventy five to one eighty is another class interval. Mm. Do we call it an interval data, or do we call yes. it a ratio? Uh, like interval, interval scale of measurement or ratio scale of measurement? Interval, unless and until I said about this less than or something, right? Less than or greater than thing is not there. Then it is a interval scale of measurement. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, fine. It's done, right? Okay, I will just call the other name. Uh, just lower your hands, okay? Hari Shankar, Hari Shankar is there, yeah. Uh, Hi. Uh, sorry. Uh, my my doubt uh, just got cleared. You just now you answered right. So actually, I was having a uh, uh, doubt regarding uh, the ratio variable. Okay. So you said like uh, the category variable. Okay. Suppose uh, take example about the rating. Okay. So if you give it, if you name it as a one, two, three, four, five. So uh, in which category I uh, will it be a ordinal uh, data or the ratio thing? So I was asking this question actually. So uh, I think my doubt got clear in this thing. Okay, so fine. yeah, that's all. Okay, done, okay, done right? Okay. Yeah. I think go to next. Janani is there. Janani is there. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, my doubt is in the practice assignment one point one and question number mm -hmm. one. Okay, just let me one point. Okay, at one point one it will get refreshed, right? So the questions will be changing there, right? So can you just tell me the question? Oh, oh, Maybe. it's it's different for everyone. After, okay, okay. After uh, refresh, just, it will come different questions, na? Right. Yes. So, uh, the question on my screen is: variables with an interval scale of measurement ah, may right? be converted into a ratio scale right. of measurement. This one, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I think I have answered it before. Okay, just just let, let me tell you. I'll write it down here. This one minute. Huh? This. Are you able to see this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's page? page is visible, right? Yes, sir. What yes, I'm sir. writing is visible? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So let's say you know the temperature uh, measured in degree Celsius is a interval scale, right? That is okay? That is fine? Yes, sir. Ah. So now let's say I have uh, one variable like let's say I'm, I'm saying that place then I'm measuring the temperature in degree Celsius. Okay, now let's say um, the same example I'm going to take Shimla, then let's say Pune and third one is let's say Chennai. Now at certain point of time, the Shimla is having the temperature of uh, let's say two degrees Celsius. Pune is uh, having the time uh, temperature is 15 degrees Celsius and Chennai is let's say 20 degrees Celsius. At the same point of time, 
I I have measured this uh, temperatures. Okay, that is okay. I have recorded this temperatures. That is fine. So in this table, what is this temperature variable? That means what is the scale of measurement of this temperature? It's interval, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now I will take the difference of temperatures. This is my another variable. What is this? I will take the difference of Shimla and Pune. Okay. What is this? Thirteen degrees Celsius, right? It is fifteen uh, minus two. Okay. And what is? And then I will take the difference between uh, temperatures in Chennai and Shimla. It's twenty-eight minus two. It's twenty-six degrees Celsius. Right. And if I take the average, like what we do is like in case of ratio scale of measurements, what we can do is we can perform meaningful the uh, division or multiplication operations. Right. That is okay. That is uh, fine to you. So now, if I say fifteen minus two divided by twenty-eight minus two, that is thirteen divided by twenty-six, or or vice versa. Like let's say twenty-six by thirteen. So what I can say is from this, this is two. Is this meaningful? This ratio is meaningful. Yes, sir. Yeah. What does this convey to you? What information it is conveying? It is saying that the difference in temperatures between Chennai and Shimla at same time is twice. as that of the difference in temperature between pune and shimla is that okay so this is a new variable now it is having the ratio scale of measurement so what we did is uh, the original variable temperature was having the interval scale of measurement what we did is we performed the subtraction operation here and we make it as a ratio scale of measurement the new variable is having the ratio scale of measurement fine That is what uh, this question says. Yes, question says, sir. Understood. Ah, uh, variables with the interval scale of measurement may be converted into ratio scale of measurement by performing subtraction operation. But and the variable changes. Yeah, that it's is not yeah. the same variable anymore. No, no, no. It won't be same. Okay, sir. Thank you so no, much. No, no. Yeah. Whenever you do some operations or something, and if you are creating new variable, that is a new variable itself. It won't be the same variable. No sir, so I meant that okay. the category also changes, right? Because now the yes, yes. category is difference between the uh, temperatures. Now everything will change. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Difference in temperatures. Yes. Okay, sir. Thank you. But so I much. can say I can. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. So yeah, Kaushik is there, right? Kaushik. Good evening, sir. Now uh, good evening, sir. I have a doubt, sir. In uh, I am reading a statement, sir. Sir, reading assignment. Statement. नहीं सर आई एम रीडिंग ए स्टेटमेंट सर हाँ ओके सर डिफरेंस बिटवीन टू कंजिक्यूटिव पेयर ऑफ वैल्यूज इन केस ऑफ इंटरवल स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट इज फिक्स्ड यूनिट ऑफ मेजर सर व्हाट इट मींस ओके व्हाट यू डू इज जस्ट जस्ट पेस्ट इन द चैट बॉक्स ओके जी सर जस्ट जस्ट पेस्ट इन द अंटिल देन आई विल जस्ट टेक माही माही इज देयर जनरली यू कैन लोअर योर हैंड माही माही इज देयर Good evening, sir. Ah, good evening. Sir, uh, my doubt is uh, that uh, like ordinal scale and uh, uh, interval scale. Uh, like, is there a hierarchy? That every uh, interval scale come under ratio scale, or uh, every ordinal scale come under interval scale? Is uh, is any? It's it's not like that. Yeah, yeah you you are like this. Okay, like, no, no, it's, it's not exactly like that. I will tell you. Okay, fine. So, okay, mm, it it is having the properties. For example, let's say Mama said right. So that pyramid is there. I'll I'll just draw the pyramid here. So, nominal scale. Sorry, my handwriting. Okay, just a minute. Just to make sure. Oh, that is too bad. Huh? Okay, fine. I will make four things. So let's say this is ratio. This is interval. This is ordinal. 
and this is nominal fine so ordinal scale of measurement will be having the properties of nominal uh, or interval scalar is having the properties of ordinal what does that mean or ratio scalar is having the properties of interval what does this mean so ordinal means uh, where we can perform the comparison operators right comparison operators what are the comparison operators these are greater than or less than right so if i say ordinal scale yes, of sir. measurement that means uh, we are saying that this is uh, let's say small small size of t-shirt is there and large size of t-shirt is there i can say large size t-shirt is greater than or or is bigger than small size right so that means we are performing the comparison there and in the similarly in interval scale of measurement also there is a order uh, for example let's say we have this kind of interval 25 to 30 30 to 35 35 to 40 so uh, this 35 30 to 35 is greater than 20 to 25 to 30 right right so yes, sir. that means we, we compared 30 to 35 to 25 to 30 so that means we use this comparison there along with that it is having the property of uh, that we can perform some meaningful subtraction and uh, addition operations there right so that means the interval between this is 5 right and interval between this is also 5 so we, we or, or we can say that uh, interval between this and this 25 to 30 is kind of 10 right and here it is 5 something like that we can do that correct so that means we are, yes, we, we are able to sir. perform the so, so ratio scale are it's having the, all the pro, all the properties of uh, interval scale, but it is not the hierarchy like this kind of thing. It is having it is a hierarchy, but it is not the exact hierarchy you are saying. Okay, okay, tell yeah. me what. what, what so, is, so, that means we are not able to write uh, that if a scale is interval scale that we are not able to write both interval and ordinal. Ah yes I, yes. I am correct. doing this mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you can't do at a time. Yeah, you can't say that uh, at a time they are both. That means like ratio. Yes, thank you, sir. Ah, thanks. Uh, okay then, Ayush, Ayush. Sir, I am audible. Yeah, yeah. Just speak loudly. Sir, my yes, sir. Sir, my question is: here is a uh, eternal scale or ratio scale? Which one? Here, here, sir. Here, here means year, year, sir. Y E A R, year, year, year. Okay, year is a ratio scale or interval. Uh, first of all, ratio for for becoming it is a ratio scale. Uh, we should have something like uh, the meaningful uh, division or a multiplication, right? For example, can you say 2000, 2000 year 2000? Is uh, twice as that of uh, two, uh, year 2000, uh, 1000. Yes, sir. Can you say that? Year 1000 yes, is, is twice that of year 2000? Sorry, sorry, 2000 is like. Uh, yes, sir. You, you, are you getting my point? You, you are not able to say that, right? So, like, we are saying 2001, yes, 2002, sir. 2003. So, is it like uh, year 2000 is greater than year two, uh, 1000? I don't get it at all. Okay. Okay. Mm, how can I explain it to you? Is sir, be huh? because in a practice assignment uh, here is uh, said that it is ordinary scale. Yes, yes, because it, it is not a numerical. Yeah, it it is not numerical uh, variable. Uh, it is it is actually a uh, categorical variable because this this operations right this mathematics but we can find difference huh? between two years uh yeah yeah the, see the difference in years is not actually the what do you say the diff, yeah I, I understand what you're saying but um, actually that difference in years right it is not the same actually see for example some some years are having 365 days some years are having 366 days right so if you are saying uh, yes, the sir. difference between the years like three 2005 and 2004 is one 
and 2004 and 2003 is one then that is not correct actually see because 2004 has having uh, days of 366 right it's a uh, leap year so and hence it is it is not uh, considered as a valid statement there and hence it is uh, categorized into categorical variable fine right? but we can say that there is not an equal interval That's why yeah, yeah, equal interval is the hence it, yeah, yeah, hence hence we are not saying that is a uh, interval scale. Right. But there is okay. no doubt uh, that uh, as you said, the uh, ratio scale inherit all the properties of internal scale. So can we count? Uh, why don't we count negative in ratio scale? Ah, uh, ni ah, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> ratio scale does not have that. properties having uh, means it's not like uh, it is taking values properties means uh, what are the properties uh, in the scale the properties are we can perform addition subtraction and negative correct these are the properties these are not the values what interval scale is taking values it can take negative values but ratio scale does not take uh, it's it's a scale of measurement it's it's not the variable which is taking values right suppose uh, the the sugar which is uh, we can measure in uh, kgs so the 10 kg sugar and 5 kg sugar there is a difference of 5 kg so that means we are doing that mathematical operations uh, uh, subtraction there right so it is a meaningful subtraction operation we can perform these operations on that variable it does not mean that it is taking the negative values or something got it yes sir got it thank you sir प्रशांत प्रशांत दीक्षित इज देयर या यस सर वी हैव अ लिमिटेड टाइम ओनली फोर फाइव हैंड्स आर गोइंग या या यस सर सर माय क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम द टेबल व्हिच वी आर डिस्कशिंग लाइक नेम राहुल जोशेफ सत्या तो लाइक नेम इज वेरिएबल राहुल इज लाइक से केस इज देयर सो If uh, I say low, like in price range, low is there. So yeah. what is low? Low can we call it variable? No, no, no. Low is not a variable. No, low is kind of you know one entry in the table. It's it's not a variable. Also, it's not a case. Also, it's kind neither. of an entry is there. Nothing, nothing. It's entry okay. of the uh, entry of the table, right? It's just the entry. Okay. We we have recorded for some uh, case, right? It, 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 we have recorded for the some case. That is, Excuse that is, me, sir. Yeah, Ravi. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, my question is, sir. Ah, uh, time series data is that which is ah uh, uh, taken continuously, or and cross sectional data is that uh, which is taken uh, after some gap. Is it that like that? No, 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 no. Time series data is the data. Ah. Uh, it can be after gap like suppose if i'm measuring temperature at certain city yes, uh, at 9 o'clock then i'll uh, measure it on 12 o'clock then i'll measure it on 3 o'clock so there is a gap right in the time but that is a time series data yes so sir. time series data means the data which we have collected across different times but uh -huh. at some place at same place at same place ha uh, same place or same same thing So, so and it, it it is just varying in times, and cross section oh. data it is varying in places, but for oh. the same time. So when you are recording the temperatures of ten cities in India yes, at sir. same time, nine o'clock mm. in the morning, that is your time series data. Uh, sorry, cross section data. Sorry, cross section okay. data. So places uh, when places okay. differs, it means it's a uh, cross section data. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, thank you, sir. So now it's uh, Pro T T Banerjee, right? Pro T T. Uh, I don't know. Sir, activity question one point three. Question number three and four. <coughs> activity question one point three. Question number three. Okay, date and day of the week. Just a minute. Okay. Uh. You, are you uh, confused in both or only in some date or day? Day is fine. Day is categorical. 
Days categorical that is okay, right? White is categorical. Okay, that is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. It's categorical variable, right? Yeah. Okay. What is about date? So date is also. Uh, it, uh, we can we can consider date here as a uh, categorical variable only. Why? Uh, because the same thing that year has happened right there. So here also date. Let's say we have fourth September and fifth September, then sixth September or like that, right? We we can't able to perform the. Uh, we 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 can't able to perform the. Um, uh, sorry, meaningful mathematical operations there, and hence it is a. Categorical variable. Okay. Okay, sir. And question number eight. Question number eight. Ah. Uh. Same same thing. Okay. Suppose one is interested in calculating the weight of a bag before leaving the. What kind of variable is the weight? Okay. What is your answer here? What do you understand? Hello. Hello. Are you there? <coughs> yes, sir. Okay. Now, what what do you understand from here? So uh, my answer is quantitative and descriptive. The answer is quantitative. No. Yeah. So why why you said that it can be discrete? Quantitative is fine. Can't we measure the weight in terms like thirteen point two kgs or thirteen point two two kgs, thirteen point two three kgs? It can take any values, right? In between the thirteen and fourteen. Yeah. Why you said like it's a discrete? So what I said is discrete variable is that variable where we can count, right? Here weight we can't count actually. We can measure the weight. So when you are measuring something, for example, and it can take any values between one interval. For example, there is an interval between 13 kg and 14 kg. It can take any value depending on your uh, weighing machine. How how precise it is giving you the answers, right? And, and hence it it is possible, right? It, it can be anything. So uh, it can take any values, sir, right? Hmm. Sir, I have I want to know that when the solution video will be. uh out for the week 1 uh no no we uh, this time we are not releasing any solution videos <coughs> so, so how will i get the answer for the graded assignment we will give you the pdf we'll give you the pdf but when after the deadline after the deadline ends right that so whenever the, before that if i give you then what is the meaning of uh, Great assignment, right? <laughs> no, sir. I understand, but for uh, the concept purpose, like if I get a wrong answer, then no, we can discuss. We can discuss in week two. That is fine. That is not a problem. Sir, but uh, if I see to another courses, then there is a solution video for the week one. Mm, I don't know, man. Like uh, for for week one graded, they are released uh, the course uh, video. Itself. Solution video, right now. For grade no, assignment. Not for the grade. I did for practice assignment. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. It's not for graded, right? Graded, they will, they will, whatever they will release, it is after the grade assignment only. Okay. So... We are not providing statistics uh, for uh, any videos there. So there will be no uh, graded assignments before the qualifier exam, right? Hmm, that I'm not sure about. So. Because at uh, this week, there's no graded assignment. No, no. We guys have to give the graded assignment, but we will not get the solution. Yeah, we have to submit before the date. Week four, right? You are saying week after call before qualifier exam. You are saying the week yeah, four, before. week five will be released. No, no. Week five will be released. This time there is no gap between qualifier and the the the, the next weeks. So you have to submit the assignment for week five there. Okay. So, sir, for week one graded assignment, we will have to solve it on our own. It will be there only, right? So, sir, Should there is no scope that of your... getting help from others, huh? like from you, if you say so. From sir. others means from. Huh? Sir, so, sir, so from you. No, no, no. If you... okay, sir. No, 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 no. That is the graded assignment. No. Before, before. 
Yeah, that is graded. What we are saying that is. How can you get the help from the <laughs> faculties? Okay, sir. Sir, so no uh, solution videos will be released after the graded assignments for any of the no, weeks. No, no, no. We want to. We no, want no. To no, gra- no video solutions will be there. Only PDF solution will be there. Questions for all so of the weeks. Those videos will be released after the graded assignment, no? Huh? Uh, those PDF will be released after the uh, deadline of the assignment. Deadline. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, form, sir, I have a question, sir. Like uh, for the like quiz one, okay. So, uh, how many weeks of uh, syllabus will come in the quiz one? Four, four, okay. four weeks. Four. So it's like the same like a qualifier only, right? Qualifier. Yes, right. yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Sir, I have a yeah. doubt on. on so, uh, so, so, quiz is the mock test, which you guys were saying. Quiz is a mock test. Like uh, how the quiz no, will no, be no. conducted. No, no, so, so, so don't get confused with this. The quiz is oh. for those students who are already qualified, uh, uh, this qualifier. So they are already passed qualifier and for okay. them it is a quiz. And those who are new here, they have to give the qualifier exam. And before okay. that, so don't, don't. Uh, some people were saying that before there that will be get, mock test. Yeah, you will get mock test. Like in which week, sir? Mm, that we will let you know like maybe third week end of third week or something and sir how will it be conducted no no it will be it's not like in person exam it will be there on the on your portal live live session no no in, in your portal it will be there okay, you can okay, just okay, go okay. and just solve there it's not like we we are in order in that it's not like that okay sir. thank you okay any sir, any sir, constitutional sir, things for sir, me? sir i have a doubt in activity 1.4 question number 3 1.4 question number 3 so my doubt uh, is since... i have already uh, to, uh, sorry it, right oh sorry i did not okay. got that okay 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 tell me what what is your doubt my doubt is since uh, normal and ordinal uh, ordinal are categorical type of data then hmm. how it is uh, uh, how this is an ordinal data because this is categorical variable right now because it is saying less than 30 year and then 30 to 45 45 to 16 more than 60 there is not a definite interval here so your your interval should be very definite like 30 to 45 there is a gap of 15 right then 45 to 60 is a gap of 15 but less than 30 uh, it is different right the, the interval is different and more than 60 it is a, again a very different interval so when i'm saying uh, the numbers in terms of this less than 30 30 to 45 it becomes a categorical variable and it will be having the ordinal scale uh, of measurement okay 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 okay. Uh, okay i think that's it right kaushik is there kaushik wants to say something or pranjali yes, sir sir can, uh-huh. can i speak hindi sir uh, okay okay tell me tell me sir pichle sir pichle question mein sir similar Similar sir, or ye sir, pichle question me apne sir similar, or ye Mumbai or Fidex sir, koi city ta sir, to wahan par sir apne temperature difference nikala sir, fir ek ka thirty naya aur ek ka ya twenty six sir, to sir agar hum ghatane ki wajah agar temperature ko jod de sir, to kya ratio scale nahi hoga? Nahi hoga, kyunki dekho ap apne agar jod diya thirteen degrees Celsius plus two degrees Celsius. जी उसको कुछ मीनिंग होगा क्या कि 2 डिग्री किस में किस में मैंने बोला था कि इंटरवल पे एडिशन और सबट्रैक्शन दोनों कर सकते हैं हां बट उसको कन्वर्ट रेशियो स्केल में करने के लिए एक ही परफॉर्मेंस हो सकता है अच्छा सर उसको सिर्फ हमको घटाना पड़ेगा सर हां हां ऑलवेज और दूसरी बात ये है कि आपने जो बोला कि ऐड करो मतलब हम ऐड करेंगे टेंपरेचर 13 प्लस 2 डिग्री सेल्सियस जी सर उसका कोई मीनिंग नहीं है ना मतलब 15 डिग्री का मीनिंग है कुछ कुछ नहीं मीनिंग जी सर सब्ट्रैक्ट करके कुछ बोल सकते हैं कि ठीक है इसका डिफरेंस 15 13 डिग्री सेल्सियस सो सर एवरीवन इट्स इज नॉट लाइक फॉर इंटरवल स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट राइट इट्स नॉट लाइक वी कैन परफॉर्म बोथ द ऑपरेशंस एट द सेम टाइम सब्ट्रैक्शन और एडिशन समटाइम्स इट इज मीनिंगफुल समटाइम्स इट इज मीनिंगलेस सो हियर इन दिस केस द एडिशन ऑपरेशन इज मीनिंगलेस जी सर सर अगर सर डिफरेंस आया था हर का 13 डिग्री सर अगर वो डिफरेंस अगर किस मान लीजिए सर अगर चेन्नई का 28 था अगर वो 29 होता तो सर ये इंटरवल नहीं इंटरवल नहीं होता नहीं ये फिर फिर से अगर नहीं नहीं देखो जब आप 
टेम्परेचर मेजर कर रहे हो जैसे मान लो टू डिग्री सेल्सियस देन फिफ्टीन डिग्री सेल्सियस और ट्वेंटी नाइन डिग्री सेल्सियस ये जो टेम्परेचर है ना इंडिविजुअल टेम्परेचर ये इंटरवल स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट है बट इसको आप सब्ट्रैक्ट करोगे किसी एक से अब हमने दो डिग्री सेल्सियस को तीनों में से घटा दिया ठीक है तो वो जो नया वेरिएबल आएगा वो एक नया वेरिएबल आएगा जो घटाने के बाद जो आएगा एक नया वेरिएबल आएगा तो उसमें क्या होगा पहला तो जीरो हो जाएगा टू माइनस टू इज जीरो माइनस टू इज थर्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी नाइन माइनस टू इज ट्वेंटी सेवन अब ये तीन हो गए तो ये तीन जब डिफरेंस आता है जीरो थर्टीन एंड कितना हुआ ट्वेंटी सेवन ये जो वेरिएबल है ये रेशियो स्केल ऑफ मेजरमेंट है लेकिन जो पहला वेरिएबल था दो डिग्री सेल्सियस तेरह डिग्री सेल्सियस और सॉरी पंद्रह डिग्री सेल्सियस और डेटा so how you wanted to analyze it properly for that we are doing this kind of things right this is called as processing of the data or something so there are like lot of ways are there for example the qualitative data is there that means categorical variable yes, good sir. bad and poor so if you we do some like uh, generally what does the data science do they they give the data to uh, some python or something right if you know that thing so uh, python coding is there and for that coding if you provide the direct categorical data it won't process so for processing what we do is we just label them as 0 1 or 2 then it, then it will get processed fine okay so so this is this is all these things are what for what we are doing for analyzing the data the labeling of the data or converting that uh, interval scale to the ratio scale this these are things for the processing of the data so okay. for better understanding of the data you can say okay thank you sir thanks Okay, Terry is there. I think that is the last question we are going to take today. Yes. Uh, yeah. So, my actually, my query is regarding the content updated in the website. Let us in the let us update. Hmm. The deadline and content release is for the week three is September twenty seven, and the deadline is September twenty nine. Week three, you are saying? Yeah. Week three is not released yet, right? Yeah, it's enlisted on the in the latest update. Okay, I am not sure about this. Okay, what what's the problem there? Uh, the problem is uh, the uh, release of the content is uh, on the September twenty seven for the week three. Hmm. Then the the assignment deadline is uh, September twenty nine. There is only uh, two days gap between the content release and the. Uh, But but I'm not sure. I don't understand uh, where this week three is released. Week three is not released in statistics. Not at release. Are you talking though. about statistics? No, my huh? it's a my it's a my course content. I'm talking about the full course content, which is uh, to be released on for uh, the upcoming. There year. might be some mistake. No, no, it won't be happening like this. So generally, what we uh, how how you should how you can think about is you can go to the that week's graded assignment and the timing will be there. Or that grade assignment, so due date is there. Okay, you can just follow that date. But so there so might be actually, some. Actually, uh, in Google Calendar, it is uh, right between uh, the gaps of between uh, the uh, content release and the uh, uh, deadline is uh, ten days gap. It's there in Google mm-hmm. Calendar. Mm-hmm. But on the uh, website, it is uh, is uh, like that. Uh, content release will be in uh, September twenty seven, and in the uh, deadline is uh, September twenty nine, like that. Okay, there there might be mistake. It will get updated. It's not important. But 
uh, for the week 2 is uh, same like that september 10 will be the content release and uh, september uh, 19 will be the deadline like that mm. uh, mm. But, but in the google calendar it's uh, september 12 will be the content release uh, ah okay that, uh, see in the but google the calendar, content has been released by on 10 itself <laughs> for the week correct. 2 so 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 in google calendar it is uh, proper and is, correct no the date is belongs to the monday monday release yeah, okay, yeah monday and generally we release the content on fridays two days prior okay. so that's why that thing is there otherwise uh, your graded assignment deadline will always be on wednesdays so just just think about it like uh, uh, whenever that week is released on friday the next wednesday not the coming wednesday next to next wednesday it will okay. be your uh, deadline fine okay actually when the content release on for the week 2 is uh, like yeah, september 2 days prior correct ah. two days prior so okay fine okay i think it's done okay bye bye guys okay, okay. thanks for thank you sir